what would you rate yourself on a scale from one to ten? Just your face. You cannot use seven. A ten. <laughs> Oh, poor baby. Now let's try this again. So I'm not You are not the most beautiful woman in the world. Cosmopolitan ain't trying to get you to be on the cover. People ain't de deemed you one of the most beautiful women in the world. So let's go. So ahead. what would you rate me? Uh uh. I asked you. Since you want to bring looks about men into it, I'm asking you. What would you rate yourself? And the first thing out of your mouth was a lie. A 10. You ain't nobody's 10. You first thing you came out of your mouth, you said you're a ten, and you're not a ten. My face is not a ten. I don't have no makeup on, and my hair is not done, and this is all real hair. Mhm. Mm so, all right. I think I'm definitely a ten. Cool. I bet you do. I bet she does. I bet she does. Gents, welcome back to another episode of Modern Female Delusion. When it comes to men, we tend to have a very accurate idea of where we stand in the world. From looks to the general hierarchy in the workplace, we don't suffer from the syndrome that seems to plague every chick's mind on this side of the planet. But in the minds of most women, they're independent boss babes with a face worthy of being on every cosmetics campaign and a body that won't quit. In essence, the world revolves around them, and common sense is an affront to the personally curated bubble. Here's the first set of comments. A lot of rage in this one. She looks rough, but she is a 7. Stop hating. He looks like a 2. She is a 4. I disagree. I'm sure she can be someone's 10. Everyone has a different rating system. She was beautiful. She's 10. Well, it looks like the mob got here first on this one. As always, it just highlights the fact that women will be anything but honest, producing a group of ladies that will be searching for Prince Charming long after they hit the wall. Next clip. Why would I help a man get on his feet if there are men who are already standing up? Because all the stand-up men have supportive women and we ain't checking for lazy ones. Drizzle, drizzle. A nice callback. One of the primary narratives that feeds into this feminist delusion is that men don't have options. Ladies, with transportation being limitless following financial success, all we have is options. We can buy a ticket to literally anywhere but North Korea in the East and find traditional values you wouldn't be able to understand even if you tried. It is why those who choose to actually settle down would rather grab a passport and travel a great distance than make a bet with something next door. The top comments are, Same, why would I help a woman get on her feet when it's other women that's already on their feet? Women don't understand that the high-value man will always empathize with the average man, because he was once average himself. When he sees a woman disrespecting an average man, he's reminded of how he was treated in the past and is instantly turned off. Facts. And a lot of those women were still there when the man wasn't standing up. Drizzle, drizzle. Real shit. Say that again. I think the comments here say it all, and that's why modern women continue to fail to understand. It's not that men don't desire women, it's that they, in no way desire to debase themselves for something of incredibly low quality when time is on their side. Next. How much you had to drink? I told you, two shots and a rebel. It smells like you had a whole lot more than that. You wanna smell me? You smell, smell me? like shit. Cognac. Yeah, it smells that was like, cognac. it smells like cock. That's all I could That's drink. That's what it smells like. You're gonna smell fucking, like cock are you gonna try? Okay, if you're gonna just take- Thank you for your service. There was a time when I worked on body cam breakdowns with a couple of people, and let me tell you one thing. In almost every case, the most belligerent and entitled women were those found in the West. I actually came across one case where the woman's decisions led to a significant loss of a life in the other vehicle. All she could talk about on the way to prison was how she was looking forward to graduating, getting laid, and partying. It's a sickness, people. It really, really is. So the comments are, Cock yak. That pissed him off. It's Sunday for crying out loud. A lot of the comments point out that this is most likely a skit, but it doesn't negate what I said earlier. After all, art imitates life as much as life imitates art. There's a reason things like this enter the mainstream, and it's not because the West is full of upstanding feminists. Another one. It's kind of sad that a lot of these females won't date a guy who lives with his mom, but would instead date a guy who lives with his wife. Western female psychology is on full display. Criticize what's stable and find a way to dismantle it even further. 
When these chicks see a stable family dynamic, their single mom upbringing often makes them green with envy. By banishing masculinity in their respective social circles, they lose the traditional roots that lead to a stable life. In other words, when they see it, they resent it. This is why men do everything in their power to circumvent this reality for their own children in the future by going their own way. Nobody has time to clean up someone else's mess that they deliberately made. The comments are, Dude wakes up, chose violence, spit facts, uploads, sleeps. Damn, he got a point. So true, never thought about it that way. Dude overcooked again. Bro is just burning instead of cooking. I see no issues with these. As always, for a unified comment section, gold stars for everyone. Women will dig icks up like it's going out of style to distract themselves from their own shortcomings. They'll rant and rave about being the table and other crazy things, but it all comes from the same shameful space in their head they used to try and grab that bag. Moving on. I don't even know what to make of this one. Is it Shamu cosplay? Is this the Little Mermaid before a three-month hibernal cleanse? I'm, I'm really at a loss here. When it comes to delusion, there's a wide variety for Western females. You have the ones that nuke their marriage and wonder how everything went wrong, and then you have the types like Lizzo that often don't even make it to the wall because they'd rather have that fifth quarter pounder with cheese. Honestly, if I come across one more of those body-positive mannequins, I think I might just lose my mind. Alright, the top comments are, didn't she body shame her background dancers? Is she trying to look ridiculous? Good job. Her turn to embarrass herself. You dropped this queen. Damn, this sandworm from Dune really let itself go. Okay, wow. Merciless. Well done, people. I could not stop laughing for like 20 damn minutes. It's the sandworm one that got me. And as for the first comment, yes. Yes, she did. But that's not really the part that matters here. It's that it's coming from Lizzo that matters to make the comment more clear. You see, shame is an important part of the human experience. It keeps us in check before we bring a whole new meaning to the Hunger Games. Next clip. Everything about is a is a you guys wear makeup, heels, waist trainers. Everything about you guys is a lie. That's not a lie. Absolutely. I could take my heels off. I'm still the same person. I'm just a little bit shorter. Let's say I told you I was a lawyer. I had a firm. Okay, well that's lying, isn't and we it? Fought, right? Mm -hmm. Then you find out that I work at McDonald's. I'm probably gonna get me too, aren't I? Because you're a liar. Oh, okay. But what about women wearing makeup? Is or that a lie? Trainers, but filters I will on say Instagram. My makeup off straight filters away. on Instagram. I have no way about being barefaced. Makeup. Women are fake. Everything about them is deceptive, guys. I told y'all. Everything about women, a lot of the times, is based in deception. You've been hurt, heartbroken, it's and damaged truth. by women, and I really feel like either a therapist or a good cry would change a lot of your views. What did I say that was incorrect? That women, there's a lot, a lie about everything, that we women care about social stuff. The makeup women industry are all gold is a diggers. multi-billion dollar Yes, it is, and it's also reason. very damaging for women. What, hence, You're I changed an argument. Why? Because makeup in itself inherently is to deceive. Or to enhance. No, it's to make up for your lack of aesthetics. That's why it's called makeup. If I take my makeup, makeup up, for lack of aesthetics. I look the exact same. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. I look the same. Like, yeah, I and I got a 12-inch dick. Do you? That's fantastic. Yeah. Why I got so many hoes. She definitely lost it at the end there. When it comes to chicks, it's all relative depending on personal benefit. They'll call it assault if a man tries to portray his career in a better light or switch things up, only for them to awaken the mob if a guy finds out that a woman isn't really a woman at all. Or through the simpler lens, like in this clip, wearing three layers of makeup to look completely different. The game is always just silly and guns when the shoe is on the other foot. Anyway, the comments here are, if you look the same without makeup, then why wear it? I actually agree with him. Makeups like hair extensions, eyelashes, eyebrows redraw, high heels for height, bras to hip fall and breast, waist trainers to press fat belly. Should I type more? But my question is, if she would look the same without makeup, then what's the makeup for? Exactly. And that's how a new case for the delusion argument emerges. Women are always saying they're perfect without all the bells and whistles, or worse yet, they'll say that they're doing it for themselves when every cosmetic decision they make is geared towards looking more sexually viable. Next. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, babe, what's up? What you up to? Just riding around with my side nigga in your car while you at work. 
Yeah, you play all day. Tell your nigga, I tell you what's up. My husband say hey. What up, baby? Man, your father talking to you. Just like a fucking baby. She sound like a man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all play all day. But look, I'm about to get off from work. You want to have my food ready for me to eat when I get home? I'm going to have something for you to eat when you get home. Sometimes delusion is sadly shared. I often hear the argument that women cheat for a number of reasons, but one of the least referenced is that many just do it because they find it funny. In some twisted sort of way, they think it's hilarious to fool around while the man's away and try to get caught like it's a game. Meanwhile, Chad is in the passenger seat about to bring that to an end. Well, eventually. This dude is pretty blind, and a little deaf too. I'm gonna be honest, this one was confusing as hell. So here are the comments. Nah, cause he trusts her, but it's clear as day. When in the Jada Smith going on, lol. Oh bless his little heart. The audacity to say, I love you at the end. She's playing a dangerous game. Exactly. I got no idea what the end of this will be, but something tells me it'll end up on the news. Regardless, Bro, that was clearly a dude's voice on the other end there. At this point, I really don't know if this is a troll or if this lady is just trying to prove how naive the husband is. Strange. Moving on. I like guys that don't like me. And when they start liking me, mm -hmm. I don't like them. And it's really, like, really sad. It's weird. Possibly the most classic delusion in the book. Guys, this is what happens when a culture allows women to make all their personal decisions. The signals don't just get crossed. Everything just starts flowing in the other direction. I mean, come on. This woman is talking about it on camera with a sense of pride. The piano music can be a bit misleading to make all of this sound sad, but it's obvious she doesn't really care what the result will be for her life, as long as the spotlight shines for a few more seconds. The comments are, because you don't like yourself. Passport Bros keeps growing every day because of clowns like this. She has the mentality of a 12-year-old. Nothing about that is cute. Daddy issues? Nope, mommy issues. The only statistical daddy issue to be found here is absence, and I really doubt he had a choice in the matter. This is a thing most men here usually do before all other excuses in the book. Initially, young bucks will try to analyze to see if it can be solved, but you quickly learn what it really is. Nonsense. Moving on here, next clip. Red flag that I seen a guy is having a mom, and even worse, having a sister. Hi, mom! Like I said, criticize what's stable and find a way to dismantle it even further. This one kind of ripped my heart out, but it's important to show it because, basically, all of these women just choose to talk out of their asses. They act like wounded animals to justify all the poor decision making, but they'll quickly hop on a pedestal to try and diminish the value of tradition and reverence. It's a character trait that pretty much all of them share at this point. Even with a miraculous shift in the paradigm, this won't change for a long, long time. Let's see what others got to say. The biggest red flag is having a mindset like yours. First OnlyFans, now they hating on our moms? She's a red flag. Red flag is looking like that and thinking you can get a good man and meet his mom. F this generation. Look, I'd like to say this is the only generation with 304s. That would make things so much easier to solve. But the reality of the situation is that you see 65-year-old broad spewing the same nonsense in a lot of these clips. The seeds are deep. Alright, last one. Wait, so did you really have straight A's? Yeah, I did. All through high school. I think I graduated with like a 4.5 something. Because the clip with your brother, I mean, he did have a point. You got all those good grades for what? To sell yourself online? All that study. For what? We just started. So do you just come on here to piss me off? Like, you're supposed to be my brother. No, no, no I come here to Like, I you're supposed to show to me you. love, not be against me. I come on here to tell you the truth. What the f are you talking about? What's when the you, truth? So when you leave here to go to Miami, you're living out your life. But yeah, then you I'm just forget you, you just forget whatever happens in North Carolina and what happens to me at school. Like like I get like bullied, but not like bullied, like punched at, but people just say shit and that pisses me off. And like I just wish that stop because whatever you doing here affects me at North Carolina. I've been getting name called a lot more at school. 
Some random girl said, See you later, Pinky. 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 And here we'll make one last point before hitting the road. It would be one thing if female delusion only damaged those who encouraged it. That's an isolated situation that can arguably be controlled. However, the main cause of these issues, one that made channels like Manguide have to exist to fight this, is that this kind of mass hysteria causes collateral damage. That's why men are walking away, because that means that we got a chance to protect those we care about from crap like this. So the last set of comments are, He goes to my school. Really nice dude. I hate his sister for him. She brings dishonor to her family with her selfish acts. She's lucky to have one person to tell her the truth whether she likes it or not. Poor kid. OF really ruins people. It really does. Men, as always, save your money, your time, and your sanity. To live among crazies and endorse their behavior will leave you just as lost. Instead, seek traditional masculinity and growth. This is the way. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.